Today, I'm feeling a little tired, I'm not sure. I spent some time with Lady A last weekend, and uh, I she was sick, so, you know, it may be a case of play a stupid game, win a stupid prize. So if you were looking for a cooking video, there'll be one next week. What I need to do today is to pull a Jeb Bush and use a lower energy video. So what are we going to talk about today? Shot cut. I thought I would give you perhaps an updated guideline of what you can do with shot cut. And here it is. Follow the instructions on screen. Excellent. So what do you do instead? And the answer is simple. Blackmagic Design Resolve. It's free. It's the same software that they use in Hollywood to do all the color grading, and the editing portion of it is getting better all the time. Now, some people will say, well, I would need to update my hardware. Well, in that case, you can suffer with ShotCut, but I can tell you that for me personally, I went from having a laptop with, a, with an Intel Celeron and a hard drive. I went and updated to a Ryzen 2600 MSI motherboard, uh, GTX 1070, Corsair memory, and I was still getting crashes. In fact, the first one happened within five minutes of me opening it up. Resolve has been rock solid. Does that mean I've had no crashes? Well, to be fair, I've had two. Instead of Shotcut, where it's like, no matter which version I put on, no matter what hardware I put it on, I'm going to get one every time I open it up. Minimum. Take a look at Blackmagic Design's Resolve. There is no contest that since it's free, it is better than ShotCut is. Hands down, period. Higher learning curve? Yes. More powerful? Yes. Maybe needs a little better hardware? Maybe. If you're using ShotCut, you're not exactly doing professional production anyway. So who cares if it's a little slower to render than it would be if you updated your hardware. So that's it. Shotcut is epic fail. Resolve is excellent. You should use it. I'm JD. I'm a proud Resolve user. And I'm out.